What's up, everybody? Joe from Joe's Golden Garage. Oldie but a goodie here tonight. It's been sitting here about a week. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, good. She left me some gas. <laughs> 106429 on the lovely 2006. LS430, and I have a very, very flat right front tire, and no tire warning. I mean, seriously, no tire warning. Um, anyway, she, uh, mother is at, uh, she's on vacation till December 2nd. She's out of this, she's in Florida, the beach. Till December 2nd so she told me if I needed to borrow a car that I could borrow the Lexus that it was just hanging out here so I picked it up and I'm borrowing it I've been driving the purple Hyundai as my day, daily driver and my wife's been driving the Azera um, and I came down here towards Atlanta to work uh, this Saturday for my father's uh, fabrication shop. Put in a good hard day's work. Made a couple hundred bucks. Got off. Watched the Georgia game. Florida tried to beat them. They, they, they scored some points on them there in the third quarter. But, of course, Georgia always turns, turns it on. I don't know if we're going to be able to escape Tennessee next week, though. Ooh, Tennessee's undefeated, so I'm about to go watch Kentucky, Tennessee play, and I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna be praying for a Wildcat win. I want them to see. I want to see them Volunteers fall hard. They're playing good for the first time in years. Golly. Anyway, I thought I'd run up here to my little zero to sixty spot. Won't do it on a cold engine. Lord, I have people rip my ass about the way I drive my cars on a cold engine. Y'all, if I had a fuck in both hands, I'd give neither, okay? You know, they're cars. I, I, they're expected to perform under cold circumstances, so there you have it. So anyway, yes, I can tell God, I've got to get air in this tire fast. I need to slow down. Ooh. I bet it only has about 10 pounds at best in it. But I wanted to catch this thing at night. It's always more fun to drive at night due to the dazzling gauges. We just won't go too fast. We'll keep her at about 60. get her headed over to my grandmother's house where a lot of my grandfather's old tools still remain including a very large air compressor so we're going to be taking the car over there and getting the tire pumped up until I can get it to a shop and get the tire patched so this is going to be a short little ride guys Engine temperature coming up some. 64 degrees out tonight. Such a lovely evening. Let's let down the window, shall we? Come on, car. Turn her around here real quick. And let's just let her rip. Yeah, baby. Ripping velvet. Man, so smooth. God, even with a flat ass tire. I'll be damned. <laughs> I'll be damned. I gotta have a little AC. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Um, I've got a sob video I'm about to upload. I've had uh, more than one person ask what's the latest on the sob. 
and I have a video on that I need to upload. And man, it I went back and watched it, and I don't know if I was high or drunk or, you know, and I don't do drugs and I don't drink alcohol, but I, I mean... I'm an idiot in the video. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of crazy and stupid and nuts or whatever in a lot of my videos. But I mean, I just kept repeating myself over and over. <sighs> Damn, I'll be 50 Wednesday. 50, 50 Wednesday. Getting old. And this Parkinson's stuff is starting to affect me and get to me a little more. So I probably am actually somewhat crazier than I used to be. Anywho's. Um, I'll go home, turn on that Tennessee Wildcat game, and I'm going to watch good old Derek Beery by Script Garage. Watch his latest episode on that Grand National he dropped last night. I started it when I went to bed, which I knew not to do, and fell flat ass asleep. I'm going to go finish it up while I watch a little Tennessee football. Um, anyway, I am just, uh, you know, not much has changed here with the LS430. Let's see, I'm, I caught the oil change sticker there under the light. It looks like it's been changed very recently. Um... And we had a, tra I, I can't remember if we had had the transmission service since my last video or not. Can't remember if that was done yet or not. But if not, I'll repeat myself again. The transmission service has recently been done in the past couple of thousand miles. It had never been done on this car, y'all. Never. I went back through the service records. And the damn Lexus dealership, they won't freaking service these damn transmissions. I, I mean, it's the damnedest thing. They won't do it. You got to ask them, I guess. Um, but anyway, so uh, she took it to our independent Lexus mechanic we use who did the timing belt and the struts and all that stuff on this car. And he, uh, he serviced the transmission. Charged about 300 and, golly, what did he charge? It was 380, I think which I thought was expensive as hell, but I think what he, he, I know what he did was he, um, he got all the fluid out. So like he drained fluid, added fluid, ran it. Cause he kept the car a couple of days, drained it, added fluid, ran it, drained fluid, added fluid, ran it, you know, until it all was nice and, uh, fresh and looking good. So, um, you know, that's expensive to do when you do, um, a service that way, but Hey, it's cheap insurance for this old girl and her transmission. Transmission's always shifted perfect, but after the bullshit that we've dealt with, with this 2008 ES 350 and the 200,000 mile transmission that had never been touched. I insisted mother take this thing and have it serviced, and she did. She usually listens to me when I say, hey, you know, you need to take care of this on the car. You need to do it by this, you know, this time or miles or whatever. So she's doing good. We've just got a few paint issues that are cropping up on the plastics on the outside, like the lower body cladding and uh, not many spots. I think there's about four spots total around the whole car where it's like the clear coat has peeled off. Um, I think it's kind of common on these things, but um, yeah, so, but she's still looking gorgeous overall. Beautiful crystal white. And I'm here at my grandmother's and look at there, there's the beater Lexus. My aunt is in France for the next three weeks. So she's dropped it off if she, left the key here. I'll try and get a video on it too while I'm here. Uh, but the garage door is open. All I got to do is plug in the air compressor and I'll be ready to go in about five minutes. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Let's, uh, let's pop the hood. We haven't done that in a while.
Man, I love this weapon. I'm sure some of y'all are freezing in other parts of the country, but here in Georgia, it's a balmy 64. Oh yeah, she's running good. About time, oh yeah, about time for hood struts. Well, wait, she's holding, kinda, kinda. Nope. <laughs> Sounding good, looking good. We rock and roll on out. Might be about time to, yeah, it is. These are getting pretty hazy. I need to do that for, for her while she's gone. I think I'll do that. Might do that tomorrow, actually. Those are starting to get to be hazy headlights. All right, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you watching as always, and we'll see you soon with the next one. Peace.